Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have Ashis La Pa. This place is a remote desert area located in northwestern New Mexico that is known for its unique and otherworldly rock formations. These formations, which include hoodoos, spires, and arches, have an eerie and otherworldly quality that has led some to speculate that they could be from a parallel universe. The landscape of this location is so unusual that it almost defies belief. The rocks appear to be twisted and distorted, as if they have been shaped by some unknown force. Some of the formations look like alien beings, while others resemble ancient ruins. Despite its remote location, Ashis Lepa has become a popular destination for hikers, photographers, and adventurers. Many visitors report feeling as if they have stepped into another world when exploring the area, and I don't blame them. The photos truly look like they could be from another planet. Whether or not this place is truly from a parallel universe, there is no denying that it's otherworldly beauty and strangeness make it a truly unique and fascinating destination. In our number 9 spot today we have Racketsbrook. Also known as the Devil's Bridge, this structure is a unique and striking bridge located in Kromlau, Germany. The bridge was built in the 19th century and is famous for its unusual design, which makes it appear as though it could be from a parallel universe. The bridge is built in a circular shape and its arch is perfectly reflected in the water below, creating a complete circle. The effect gives the impression that the bridge is a portal to another world or dimension. The symmetry and precision of the bridge's design have led many to speculate that it was built using some kind of ancient technology or even by supernatural means. The bridge is also an important historical monument representing the engineering achievements of its time. While this place in itself doesn't necessarily look like it's from a parallel universe, the legends still persist today that suggest it might be the perfect place to enter one. In our number 8 spot today we have Pamukkal. Located in southwestern Turkey, this place is a natural wonder that looks like it could be from a parallel universe. This unique destination is known for its stunning white terraces and thermal pools, which have been formed over thousands of years by the natural mineral deposits in the area. The terraces of Pamukkal resemble a cascading frozen waterfall with sparkling blue pools of water at the top. The contrast between the white terraces and the blue water is truly breathtaking, and the sight is unlike anything else in the world. Many visitors describe the experience of walking on the terraces as otherworldly, as the sensation of walking on the soft white surface is unlike anything else that they have ever experienced, and that is exactly why this place has the nickname Cotton Castle. The surreal beauty of this place has led many to speculate that it is a portal to another world or a place that exists outside of our reality. It is believed by many that the waters here are not only strikingly beautiful, but that they also contain healing powers, which makes it a spot that sees travelers from all over the world. In our number seven spot today, we have the Waitomo Caves. These caves are a unique and stunning attraction located in the North Island of New Zealand. The caves are known for their stunning display of glow worms which light up the dark and seemingly endless caverns in a way that makes it seem like they could be from a parallel universe. As visitors enter the caves, they are immediately struck by the otherworldly atmosphere. The walls of the caves are adorned with glittering formations, and the silence is broken only by the gentle drip of water. The real magic of the caves, however, comes from the glow worms that inhabit them. These tiny creatures emit a blue-green light that illuminates the caverns in a way that feels almost supernatural. The experience of walking through the Waitomo glowworm caves is truly unique and unforgettable, and many visitors describe feeling as though they have stepped into another world. Whether or not the caves are actually a portal to a parallel universe, there is no denying that they are a stunning example of the natural beauty and wonder of our world. In our number 6 spot today, we have the Zhangyi Danxia Landform. Located in China, this place is a stunning and unique geological feature. The landform is made up of a series of multicolored rock formations that have been shaped by millions of years of natural erosion and deposition. The colors of the rock formations are so vivid and intense that it's almost hard to believe that they really are natural. It fully looks like a man-made creation, despite that not being the case at all. The layers of sandstones, silt 
siltstone and mudstone that make up the landform have been exposed to the elements for millions of years, resulting in a surreal and alien-like landscape. Visitors to the area can explore it on foot or by car, taking in the breathtaking views of the colorful mountains and valleys. The unique beauty of the landform has made it a very popular destination for tourists and of course for photographers from around the world who come to experience this otherworldly landscape for themselves. In our number 5 spot today we have the White Sands National Park. Another place in New Mexico because honestly, New Mexico is definitely a home to many unusual things. And the White Sands National Park is no exception, but it is unbelievable. This national park is a stunning destination due to its unique and surreal appearance. The park features a vast expanse of white sand dunes which are composed of gypsum crystals and form an otherworldly landscape that feels almost alien. Visitors to the park are immediately struck by the contrast between the bright white sand and the vivid blue sky, which creates a very surreal and almost dreamlike atmosphere. The dunes themselves are constantly shifting and changing, creating a landscape that seems to be in a constant state of flux. The unique beauty of the White Sands National Park has led many to describe it as a portal to another world or a place that exists in another universe. Whether or not that is true, there is no denying that this park is stunning and unforgettable and a destination that should be on every traveler's bucket list. In our number 4 spot today we have the Danakil Depression. The Danakil Depression is a part of the Afar Triangle in Ethiopia and it is a geological depression that came about as a result of Africa and Asia moving apart. The divergence of three tectonic plates caused rifting and volcanic activity. This place is the hottest place on earth in terms of average year round temperatures and it is also one of the lowest places on earth at 100 meters below sea level. There are active volcanoes in the area, there are salt springs, sulfur springs, and it only gets about 4 to 8 inches of rain every year. What I'm saying is that this place is stunning and has an incredibly rich geological history, and it also fully looks like it could be from another planet. This otherworldly landscape and quite inhospitable environment is the home to the Afar people. Somehow they have managed to overcome the odds and the obstacles and managed to thrive in this extreme environment, and it is said that this was made possible over the centuries by their ability to adapt to need less food and water than other humans. That's one of the most remarkable things I've ever heard. The Danakil Depression is a popular destination for adventurous travelers who are seeking an experience that is truly out of this world. Visitors can explore the area on foot or by camel, taking in the breathtaking views of the alien-like landscape. Despite the harsh conditions, the area is also home to a number of fascinating animals and plants that have adapted to this unique environment. In our number 3 spot today we have the Pyramids of Giza. One of the most mysterious places on earth has to be the Pyramids of Giza. I mean, how? For centuries people have wondered and tried to find answers as to how they were built at all, let alone with the limited resources and without the use of modern technology. And they've been around for the last 4,000 years, so the durability alone is outstanding. This alone is the source of much mystery, but that's only the outside of them. What lies on the inside might just be even more so. The pyramids of Giza, especially the Great Pyramid of Giza, were believed to have been built as tombs for rulers and other wealthy people. That totally makes Makes sense, except for the fact that there hasn't been any mummies found inside of them. Instead, there's just a plethora of secret, unexplored rooms, hidden doors, and mirrors. You know, just regular ancient Egypt stuff. Many of these secret rooms remain completely unexplored over fear of damage. One more strange thing about these incredible creations is that they were built on the center of the earth. However they did this, they aligned them perfectly with Orion's belt, with no technology. Just pure brilliance. I'm saying, if anywhere is going to take you to a parallel universe, these pyramids will take you back in time to a completely different world. In our number two spot today, we have the Crooked Forest. Forests are already creepy, but this one looks like it's straight out of a Tim Burton film. The Crooked Forest in Poland. There's around 400 odd shaped pine trees near the town of Grafino. These trees are about 90 years old, and all of the trees from the base, they immediately bend towards the north and then slowly curve back towards towards the sky like other trees. Despite this odd bend, the trees are otherwise healthy. There's been so many theories as to how these trees got their bend, but none of them really stick. Some suggest it was a gravitational anomaly, but that's a little too far-fetched for me. I don't know, this is an interstellar. Other theories claim that there were heavy snowfalls that could weigh down the branches, which could check out, but why is it just a select amount? I live in Canada. I 
I've lived in Canada my entire life. We have lots of snow, and I've never seen a sleepy hollow tree. My favorite theory is that the farmers were trying to make the tree curved on purpose to make stronger wheels because the grain direction would make for naturally curved wheels. But again, nobody knows for sure. What are your thoughts? Do we like the wheel theory? And finally, in our number one spot today, we have the Catatumbo River. Basically, in western Venezuela, right over the Catatumbo River, there are these insane, very intense lightning storms, and it is a complete atmospheric phenomenon. This lightning occurs during 140 to 160 nights a year, 9 hours per day, and from 16 to 40 times per minute. That is absolutely insane. That is so much lightning. This place will transport you into a parallel universe where it's just lightning all the time. Another thing that's so fascinating about this lightning is that it is colorful and it doesn't produce any thunder. The lightning does change its frequency up from time to time and at one point it stopped for a few weeks and people thought that maybe it was going to have been exhausted forever, but that thankfully changed when the lightning came back, putting it right back on our list of mysteries that we just can't quite figure out. Many people have studied the lightning, trying to figure out how exactly it has been created and what makes this phenomenon phenomena what it is, but we just aren't yet quite sure. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have the Hoya Bashu Forest. This dense woodland is located in the heart of Transylvania, Romania, which, as I'm sure you're well aware, already has quite the reputation for eerie and spooky things. The forest covers an area of approximately 250 hectares and is known for its unusual and unexplained occurrences, earning it the nickname the Bermuda Triangle of Transylvania. How convenient. The forest is known for its twisted and gnarled trees, which create a very haunting atmosphere, as well as the strange circular patches of land that dot the area known as Hoya, which some believe to be the result of UFO activity. The forest has also been the site of many alleged paranormal events, including ghost sightings, unexplained lights and sounds, and even disappearances, which is exactly why many believe it is a portal to another world. Some visitors to the forest who didn't disappear have even reported rashes, nausea, and feelings of anxiety afterwards. Despite its eerie reputation, the forest is also a place of immense natural beauty with a diverse range of flora and fauna. The forest is home to many rare and endangered species of plants and animals, including several species of orchids and woodpeckers. The forest is also rich in its history, as it is said it was once the site of a medieval fortress and was an important location during the Second World War. The area is also steeped in local folklore and legends with stories of supernatural beings and witches who are said to dwell in the forest. All in all, this place is jam-packed with spooky stories, strange occurrences, and beautiful but haunting scenery. All the things that make it the perfect place to enter another world. In our number 9 spot today, we have the real Bermuda Triangle, not the Bermuda Triangle of Transylvania. The Bermuda Triangle is really just the mecca when it comes to mysterious disappearances and rumors and urban legends, so of course it had to make it onto this list today. The Triangle, which sits in between Florida, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda, earned its deadly reputation starting back in the 1970s. Since then, there has been about 80 aircrafts and 60 boats that have gone missing in the Triangle, which only fueled rumors that there was some sort of force or supernatural cause that was making this area one where people would often go missing. There have been intense electrical forces and tunnel-like clouds reported in the triangle, which some may believe is the cause of the disappearances. Some others believe it's weather patterns. Some believe it's the entrance to a parallel universe or a place where aliens like to abduct their victims. And some people just like to dismiss the idea that there's any sort of mystery at all. At this point, exactly what is going on with the Bermuda Triangle remains a mystery. In our number 8 spot today, we have the Oregon Vortex. Just off of Interstate 5 in Southern Oregon lies what is called the Oregon Vortex. According to local legend, it is said that this area and the strange and mysterious stories surrounding it aren't just modern legends, but perhaps it stems back further. People have said that the stories of the Oregon Vortex actually stem back to when indigenous Americans referred to it as the Forbidden Land. It is said that during these times, people traveling on horses would often find their horses refusing to go into the area. So clearly, something strange was going on in there 
there that was spooking these animals right out. Scientists have speculated that the land might contain some kind of crossed magnetic lines that produce basically like a force field, but whatever it really is, the place is truly strange. Things appear very differently here. It's sort of like everything is an optical illusion. The area is basically a parallel universe in itself. In our number seven spot today, we have Socotra Island. Socotra Island is a remote island located in the Arabian Sea, about 240 kilometers east of the Horn of Africa and 380 kilometers south of the Arabian Peninsula, and it has been described as, quote, the most alien looking place on Earth. It is a part of Yemen and is known for its unique and otherworldly qualities, as well as its rare and endemic plant and animal species. In fact, so many species here are endemic that up to a third of its plant life isn't found anywhere else on Earth. The landscape of Socotra is strikingly surreal, with towering limestone cliffs, deep caves, and white sand beaches. The island is home to unusual rock formations and the infamous dragon blood trees. This strange looking umbrella shaped tree have a red sap inside of them, which is thought to be the dragon's blood of the ancients. In addition to its natural wonders, Socotra has a rich cultural heritage with a mix of African, Arabian, and South Asian influences. The island's inhabitants, the Socotri people, have a unique language and a way of life that has been preserved for centuries. Overall, this island is just truly otherworldly, and it offers a glimpse into a world unlike any other, with the island's landscape being compared to that of a science fiction movie set. In our number six spot today, we have Salar de Uni. Salar de Uni is the world's largest salt flat located in the southwest of Bolivia near the crest of the Andes. The area spans over 10,000 square kilometers and is characterized by a stunning otherworldly landscape. This peculiar place was formed by the evaporation of a prehistoric lake, leaving behind a thick layer of salt crust that stretches as far as the eye can see. During the rainy season, the salt flat becomes a giant mirror reflecting the sky and clouds in a breathtaking spectacle. It is truly unbelievable. It looks completely fake and is somehow super real. The unique terrain and climate of the area has also given rise to many unusual natural formations. The flat is dotted with small islands of rock and gigantic cacti, which serve as a haven for a variety of animal species. Yes, I said giant cacti. While this place is mostly devoid of life, plant or animal, that is safe for these cacti that can grow to be 12 meters or 39 feet tall. The area is also home to many active geysers and hot springs, as well as colorful lakes that are filled with flamingos during certain times of the year. In fact, in November, this place becomes a feeding ground for three South American species of flamingo feeding on local brine shrimps. These are the Chilean, Andean, and rare James flamingos. Aside from its natural wonders, Salar de Uni is also rich in cultural history. The area has been inhabited by the indigenous indigenous Amara people for thousands of years, and they have maintained their traditional way of life and culture to this day. In our number five spot today, we have the Challenger Deep. The Challenger Deep is the deepest known point in our ocean, around 10,900 meters deep. It is located in the Pacific Ocean in the southern part of the Mariana Trench, and because of its location, lack of light, and immense pressure, it hasn't been explored very much. The extreme environment has certainly set up for there to be a whole host of species that we know absolutely nothing about, but it is not an area that can be easily explored by humans. The Challenger Deep has only been visited four times, and only for short periods of time, so there is so much more that is waiting to be uncovered at this deep, dark part of our ocean, and I don't know about you, but I feel like there are crazy amounts of ocean creatures that could fully be aliens. They are so strange and interesting and unique, so who in the world knows what really lurks down there? In our number four spot today, we have East Scotia Ridge. In the Southern Ocean, about 2,400 meters down, you'll find this biological community or habitat that was discovered in 2012. East Scotia Ridge is a remote underwater mountain range located between South Georgia Island and the Antarctic Peninsula. The ridge is known for its unique and very mysterious geology, as well as its diverse marine life and harsh environment. It is dark down there, but it is also hot as it is being warmed by hydrothermal vents, and it can reach temperatures up to 382 degrees 
Celsius, which is absolutely insane. Because of this dark, hot environment, of course, we are going to find a whole bunch of new species that were previously unknown to us. Some of these species include a new kind of albino octopus, and also albino hairy lobster that's referred to as a yeti lobster, and apparently even a crab that uses its hair to grow a bacteria that detoxifies the water. Okay? Parallel universe, that's what I'm saying. In our number three spot today, we have the Paris Catacombs. The catacombs in Paris are some of the most famous in the world. This is a place that holds the remains of more than six million people, and it's also the source of an insane amount of urban spooky legends. This ossuary was created originally in an effort to eliminate the overflowing of the city cemeteries. To be honest, this place, after being built, was mostly forgotten, but during the 19th century, it became a novelty place for concerts and private events, which is certainly macabre. After some renovations and construction, they became open to the public in 1874, and they have been the source of much mystery ever since. These catacombs are expansive, with most of them being blocked off to the public, which begs the question, why? In 2009, there is said to have been a video camera discovered inside the catacombs with footage that showed an unidentified man dropping the camera in fear of something that's also unidentified before running away into complete darkness. I'm just saying, although the catacombs sees a ton of visitors every year, I'm not convinced that we know all of what's going on down there. And I don't wanna know. Keep your secrets. In our number two spot today, we have the Moval Cave. This cave is located in Romania, just a few kilometers from the coast of the Black Sea, and it was first discovered in 1986. This cave has been isolated from the outside world for millions of years, and basically everything that goes on inside of it is different than what we are used to. The cave life is not based on photosynthesis and rather chemosynthesis. The level of oxygen in the cave is around a third of what is normally found in the atmosphere, and of the 48 species found in the cave, 33 three of them were endemic to just the cave. This cave looks absolutely terrifying, but thank goodness for the brave scientists who don't let that get in the way, because as scary as it looks, it is just as, if not more amazing to be able to hear about what exactly this cave holds. In our number one spot today, we have the Zhangjiajie National Forest Park. This stunning nature reserve is located in the Hunan province of China, and it spans over 11,000 hectares, and is known for its towering sandstone pillars and breathtaking natural scenery. The park is characterized by its its unique and otherworldly landscapes, which includes thousands of the tall sandstone pillars that rise up from the ground. The pillars are often shrouded in mist, creating a very mystical and surreal atmosphere. Visitors can explore the park's many hiking trails, which wind through dense forests and lead to stunning lookout points, including the famous Avatar Hallelujah Mountain that inspired the scenery in the film Avatar. You too can visit Pandora right here on Earth. The area is also home to a diverse range of flora and fauna, including many rare and endangered species. Aside from the natural, this is also a spot rich in history, as it was once the home to many ancient temples and shrines located within the park. The area has been inhabited for over 3,000 years, and visitors can explore many historic sites and learn about the region's rich cultural heritage. Overall, this national forest park is a truly spectacular destination that combines natural beauty, cultural history, and a sense of awe and wonder that is sure to leave visitors feeling as though they went to another world. In our number seven spot today, we have Point Nemo. I'm sure there's a few of us out there who dream of time alone, away from other people, and Point Nemo is exactly that. It's like a parallel universe where if you were to visit, you'd feel like you were the only person on Earth. This is the most remote location on Earth. It's officially known as the Oceanic Hole of Inaccessibility because it is the furthest point away from land. This area is surrounded by more than a thousand miles of ocean in every direction. There are obviously no humans who live even close to Point Nemo, which is why it is called that in the first place, Nemo being Latin for no one. This location is so isolated that the closest people to Nemo aren't even on this earth. Since the inhabited areas closest to the point is over a thousand miles away, the humans aboard the ISS are way closer than anyone on land. Truly just wild. Kind of sounds like a dream, kind of sounds like a nightmare. In our number six spot today, we have Kawa Ijen. Located in Indonesia, this is one of the most remarkable and interesting places on earth. 
Firstly, this active volcano emits hot, flammable sulfurous gases. These gases ignite as they enter the oxygen rich atmosphere of Earth, and this causes them to burn with a stunning blue flame. Further scientific processes also allows for there to be a flow of molten sulfur that also has that same striking blue flame. At night is really when you get quite a show from this coloring, as it quite literally looks like a flow of blue lava. The other incredible thing about this location is that there is a one kilometer wide caldera that is filled with turquoise blue water. The watercolor, while it looks gorgeous, is a result of extreme acidity as well as a high concentration of dissolved metals. It is an astonishing place to look at and really is quite magnificent. In our number five spot today, we have the Devil's Kettle. This area is said to hold one of Minnesota's greatest mysteries. As the Brule River flows through in order to make its way toward Lake Superior, there is a point where it makes an 800 foot drop in eight miles. Because of this journey through time, waterfalls have been created as the water erodes the rocky terrain. One waterfall in particular is the one that we want to talk about today. The stream splits into two as it falls over the edge. One of the two streams flows exactly how you would think it does, while the other is a little more mysterious. On this side, the water rushes into a cavern that seems to go nowhere. The cavern never fills up somehow, but no one can figure out where the water is going. It's a strange phenomenon that has resulted in the fall gaining the nickname the Devil's Kettle. It is said that people have tried to place things in the water that might help show them where the water is flowing to, but despite these efforts, the items were just never seen again. And finally, in our number one spot today, we have the Reverse Waterfall. This mysterious and strange location is another one that comes from India. Here, there is a waterfall, but it's got a catch. While we all, of course, expect to see water cascading down when we think of a waterfall, this strange location instead sees the water moving towards the sky. Some people believe it's because of some anti-gravitational force, others think it's due to the heavy air pressure, and I'm not a scientist, so I'll let you decide. While this is certainly quite a strange place, it also definitely delivers when it comes to beauty. I think even if the water flowed down like a normal waterfall, this area would still see a lot of tourists just because of the immense natural beauty. At number 10, we have the Upside Down from Stranger Things. This show has become one of the biggest hits since everyone has started to switch over to streaming services. 80s nostalgia blast with a bunch of kids playing Dungeons and Dragons and falling in love and trying not to get murdered in the process. This show is also home to the Upside Down, a parallel to our own universe where everything is trying to kill you. If you haven't watched the show Stranger Things, I'm going to put a spoiler warning right here. Actually, there's going to be a spoiler warning on this whole video because we are talking about a lot of film and television stuff, so spoilers for the whole video. You have been warned. The Upside Down is a dark, monster filled reality that was accessed by a psychic girl named 13, connecting to a monstrosity from that realm known as the Demogorgon. Her connection with this creature opened a rift through the two worlds, which allowed the creature to escape into our world. The creatures from the Upside Down are nearly unkillable, and some of the most powerful ones even have the ability to possess people. Oh, and I forgot to mention they will eat you given the opportunity. At number nine, we have The Matrix. Take the blue pill or the red pill. See the world as it actually is or stay asleep. The Matrix has one of the best representations of alternate reality. It's not exactly a parallel universe, but it kind of is and it's very cool so I wanted to include it. In The Matrix, the machines have taken over the world and farm humans like cattle that are locked away in these jelly pods. Why do they do this? Energy. Humans are essentially batteries for the robots, and to keep the humans in a sleep like state and make them easier to harvest, the machines make a reality that every human is plugged into the Matrix. The Matrix keeps humans docile, but some realize that they are living a lie and are able to wake up. It's the original Are We Living in a Simulation idea. It was way ahead of its time and it changed action movies forever. At number eight, we have The Spider Verse. Oh, yeah, baby, one of the best movies of 2018. For a very long time, Marvel has utilized the idea of of the multiverse in their comics, TV shows, and movies. And the Spider-Verse brings it all together in one of the most amazing ways. A Spider-Man from one universe gets launched into another universe and then is forced to save the day from alternate versions of several villains. Then he teams up with more alternate versions of Spider-People, let's be inclusive, and it's one of the most awesome gatherings of superheroes ever. The scary part about this is the fact that all these parallel universes have a new batch of villains. Every universe has a different Doc Ock, Sandman, Goblin, all of them. and then. Again and again and again and again and again. At number six, we have the Super Mario Brothers movie, Dinosaur Universe. 
Some of you may not know this, but there was a live action Super Mario Brothers movie made in the 90s. The reason you don't know about this is because it was one of the worst movies ever made. The film literally has nothing to do with the games. In the film, the meteor that killed the dinosaurs didn't kill them. It knocked them into another dimension where everything is gross and weird and storylines are horrible. The movie makes about as much sense as Cat Dog. P.S. I love that show. The dino world has strange tech, weird dinosaur monsters, and the worst fashion sense I have ever seen. I mostly included it on this list because it's so bad it's scary. At number 5 we have Earth 3. In the world of DC Comics there is the Justice League, a team of the greatest superheroes. Parallel to them from Earth 3 is the Crime Syndicate, but they have evil brewing deep inside them like a musty fart after you've had too much hot sauce on your burrito. There's the Grid, who is the evil version of Cyborg. There's Deathstorm, who's the evil version of Firestorm. Johnny Quick, evil version of The Flash. Power Ring, evil version of Green Lantern. Sea King, evil version of Aquaman. Owlman, evil version of Batman. And finally, we have Superwoman and Ultraman being the evil versions of Superman and Wonder Woman. All of these villains operate with the same powers as the heroes with some minor changes. Like Ultraman has no weakness to Kryptonite. He actually uses Kryptonite to power himself and he has a weakness to sunlight. Power Ring constantly demoralizes him and Superwoman has a lasso of submission instead of a lasso of truth. Hot. There is so much more to cover about these guys, but we only have so much time in this video. Also, Earth 3 isn't just where the crime syndicate comes from, but all the evil in the DC multiverse. Well, at least in the new 52. I know all you comic book nerds can destroy me on this. Please, spare me your wrath. At number 4, we have Marvel Zombie World. So it's superheroes, but they're zombies. They still have all their powers, but they also have an endless urge to eat human flesh. So there's the Hulk, but you don't want to see him when he's hungry. This sounds like the worst possible thing that could ever happen. So here's what happens. The hero Sentry arrives on Earth carrying a zombie virus, but he's a Sentry from another dimension. He starts to infect all the heroes, and the heroes start to eat everything. While they're satisfied, they don't have an endless urge to eat, but while they're hungry, they can't control themselves at all, so much so that Peter Parker eventually eats Mary Jane and Aunt May. Eventually Silver Surfer comes to sort things out, and they eat him too. This gives some of the zombies the power cosmic. Then Galactus comes, and they eat him too, then fashion his armor into weapons for themselves. Then some of the heroes fly to other planets and start eating all the people there. I won't tell you how it ends, but a lot of people get eaten. At number 3 we have Old Man Logan. This is one of the darkest alternate realities from the Marvel Universe. Basically the heroes lose, some of them in horrible ways. Like when Mysterio pulls an illusion over Wolverine, so he thinks he's killing villains, but he ends up killing a bunch of X-Men allies. Ant-Man dies and there's a massive highway built through his skeleton corpse that just sits out in the open. And Hulk and She-Hulk have a bunch of Hulk kids and then send them out to extort money from people. And yes, Hulk and She-Hulk are related. This is very gross. I don't want to spoil too much for you about this comic because if you haven't read it, it's amazing. You should definitely go pick it up. But if you do, make sure you're over 18 and prepare for some disturbing storylines. At number 2 we have the movie VHS with the Monster Universe. This movie is literally called VHS. It's one of my favorite horror series. It's a pretty simple concept. In this particular vignette, a man named Alfonso develops a portal to another world. A universe at first glance that seems to mirror our own. Alfonso encounters a parallel version of himself and the two trade sides to explore the other universe. This is where it starts to get weird. He travels through the house and finds a parallel version of his wife, who looks the same, but is dressed a little seductively in a silk robe. She doesn't know that this is the Alfonso from the alternate universe. She then introduces him to two men who are over. Maybe in this universe everyone's a swinger, I don't know. The four of them walk into the living room where it seems like some strange satanic rituals going on. There's a bag of meat hanging on a hook and on the television there's a person being burned alive on a cross. He should have stayed in Kansas. It turns out that this is some sort of sexual ritual and all the people in this universe have monsters for genitals. The guys that were with his wife revealed that they have these long slimy bearded venus flytrap looking penises that are like huge and the women have these vaginas that can literally eat your face. Yeah, terrible place to vacation. And for our number one spot we have Otherworld in Silent Hill. 
one of the best horror franchises in gaming history. Silent Hill's probably given more teens nightmares than a salvia trip. If you're unfamiliar with Silent Hill, it's the series of games that take place in a little town with the same title. For the most part, Silent Hill's a quaint, slightly unsettling area. But that all changes when you cross over to Otherworld. It's uncertain exactly what it is. Some people think that it's purgatory, while other people think it's a corrupt force that looms over an area. It doesn't matter, once you're there, everything you fear, all your deepest, darkest regrets will manifest themselves into horrible things and hunt you down. Some people will see strange dog-like creatures or demonic babies, and other people will see Pyramid Head. In our number 10 spot, we have the Sargasso Sea. Located in the northern Atlantic subtropical gyre, the Sargasso Sea was named for its sargassium seaweed. The area has become known for its ghost stories and ghost ships, one of which is the famous Mary Celeste. This ship went missing in the Sargasso Sea, and by the time it was discovered in 1872, not a single body body was found on it. The ship's food and cargo was, however, still there. So it probably went through some kind of portal and the people decided to stay in this new universe and then decided to send the ship back. Makes logical sense to me. In our number nine spot, we have Lake Superior. Lake Superior is a lake that borders Canada and America, and it is known to have had some mysterious incidences over the years. The lake apparently is known for its stormy winds, and it has claimed quite a few boats over the years. But there have also been whole ships that have disappeared without a trace. Because of this, scuba divers around the world dive in its waters to analyze the sunken ships as well as look for any other signs of magical activity. Whole ships don't just disappear, folks, unless maybe they get eaten by some kind of Loch Ness Lake monster. I'd put my money on that or a gateway to another universe. In our number 8 spot, we have the Yosemite National Park. The Yosemite National Park is located in California's Sierra Nevada mountains. There have been many unusual events at this park over the years, and some speculate some kind of entrance to the upside down world, aka a parallel universe. The reason being because there have been many, many disappearances. 45 people haven't been found till this day. There have also been stories of children disappearing at one area of the park and found in another area without their clothes. Holy, that's terrifying. Some think it's more likely supernatural beings like ghosts that are playing tricks. But some think there's some kind of Narnia-like portal taking everyone to a new land. I think that I really want to go to this park and investigate it myself. In our number seven spot, we have the Nevada Triangle. Located in, you guessed it, the state of Nevada, there is a triangle of suspicious activity from Las Vegas to Reno, Reno to Fresno, and Fresno to Las Vegas. This triangle is known for a lot of mysterious situations occurring, probably because the very unknown questionable Area 51 is within the triangle. UFO sightings have been reported and many, many disappearances have occurred here. You know, we always just think that aliens are in Area 51, but what about a portal to another world? Or perhaps they have discovered some kind of time traveler device that they keep in there. Either way, I'm sure we'll never know. In our number six spot, we have Pyramid Lake. Clearly, there is a theme here with the triangles. Near Reno, in the Paiute Reservation in Nevada, there is a lake that is known as Pyramid Lake that was apparently named after a pyramid-shaped rock formation in it. This area has a very known story about two men that were at this lake and then mysteriously disappeared without a trace. Could this be perhaps that around the pyramid-shaped rocks is a gateway to another place? Some locals speculate that the two men could have also been dragged under the water by spirits called water babies, as there are old native stories that speak about a legend about bad spirits in these waters. I kind of hope they found a portal because a water baby drowning them just sounds whew, terrifying. In our number five spot, we have the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Located between the states of Tennessee and North Carolina, the mountains in the park are quite glorious and attract a lot of tourism. They unfortunately attract disappearances as well. Not too many, however, three very unusual disappearances have occurred that are still unresolved today. One is famously known as a boy named Dennis who mysteriously went missing in 1969, another being an older woman in 1980. 
1981. Missing people are not uncommon in national parks, but it is usually uncommon that they are not found. There is usually some kind of trace of them. So perhaps there is a mountain portal that the missing people discovered. I feel like that's a good theory. In our number four spot, we have Pecos. Referring to Pecos, New Mexico, located close to Santa Fe and near the Pecos River, this place is known for being a popular place to fish and hunt. This is another area that has a triangle phenomenon called the Pecos Triangle. Clearly, it's the triangle that creates the portal. Quick, let's all go and draw a triangle and open a portal to a new world. And that would be pretty cool if we could draw a triangle and then jump into it and go into a new world. Ah, my brain. In this triangle, there have been many reports of missing people. There are also reports of the roads having supernatural beings, and people have even claimed to have seen UFOs. UFOs from another dimension. Probably. In our number three spot, we have the Anjakuni Lake. This lake is located in the far northern region of Nunavut in Canada. This place had once been the home to a small town of Inuit people. But apparently, as the story goes, in the 1930s, a fur trapper would every so often go to the village to sell his fur. But on one of the last times he went there, he found the place to be completely deserted. There were still pots of food and all of their resources but there were no people or even bodies. The animals in the town had seemingly starved. Wild. Who knows, maybe there is a black hole that formed in this town and sucked all the people up. But maybe not, because I guess the animals would have been missing too. <laughs> there might be some sign of a disaster, but there wasn't. Clearly a portal to another universe was found. Only explanation. In our number one spot, we have the Alaska Bermuda Triangle. In the southern part of Alaska, there is a stretch of land with icy mountains and tundras. This land hasn't properly been explored due to severe weather conditions, so many don't go anywhere near it for that reason. But also, for another reason. As you get close to these mountains, people seemingly disappear. So many people disappear, actually, and the locals have a theory about this. They think it could be due to some kind of Bermuda Triangle parallel universe theory, or the Kushtaka. The Kushtaka is a sort of Alaskan Bigfoot that is believed to lure victims to a nearby river where it then tears them to shreds and turns them into another Kushtaka. Well, all I can say is once again, I'd much rather death by jumping into another universe than death by being shredded. Well, I'm convinced there's a parallel universe. Are you? Just look up the Berenstein Bears conspiracy theory and that's all you need to be convinced. It's Berenstein Bears, not Berenstain Bears. In our number eight spot today, we have the Sima Humboldt. Sima Humboldt is a huge sinkhole that is located in Venezuela. Sinkholes are certainly very interesting, but not necessarily never before seen, so you might be wondering what's going on with this one that makes it necessary to put on this list. Well, firstly, it's huge. Its volume is around 18 million meters cubed. The second reason is because because of its location. This sinkhole is located on a tepu, which is like a tabletop mountain, and this sinkhole is located on the only forested tepu. And finally, because of its size, the Sima Humboldt features its own ecosystem located at the bottom where many new plants and animal species have been discovered. Apparently, locals of the area believe the sinkhole is actually a place of evil, so while it looks very cool and actually quite beautiful, maybe something scarier is lurking around, or maybe they're just sensing some sort of otherworldly presence. In our number seven spot today, we have Kryptos. Okay, so this is more of like a sculpture, I guess, but it's a mysterious one. So the legend behind this one is a conspiracy theorist's dream. Kryptos was made for the CIA headquarters and it was finished on the day the Berlin Wall began to fall and it was unveiled in 1990. The three and a half meter high sculpture consists of four encrypted messages. Three of these messages have since been deciphered, but the fourth continues to be one of the most mysterious unsolved codes in the world. Both professional and amateur crypto analysts have tried to decipher the code, but despite the four clues given from the artist, no one has cracked it yet. I am absolutely dying to know what the message behind it could be. In our number six spot today, we have Lake Vostok. Many of us have heard of Atlantis, but have you heard of Lake Vostok? 
there's probably no underwater city. So maybe that was a bit of an exaggeration, but it's still so unbelievable. This lake is located in Antarctica and it is so huge. It's one of the largest lakes in the entire world. The lake not only has a large surface area, but it's also very deep, which only adds to the volume of the lake. Here's the thing about it though. It is covered by ice and not just any ice, but the East Antarctic ice sheet, which is the largest ice sheet in the world. This subglacial lake has ice so thick that we don't really know a lot about what lies beneath it, and the ice has been there for millions of years. When the first samples of the actual lake water were taken, it became apparent that there may be species in the lake that we know absolutely nothing about. It could just be like an entirely different world below this ice sheet, and we have no idea at all. In our number four spot today, we have Bran Castle. This is a castle that is located in Transylvania, and it is often known as Dracula's Castle. This Romanian landmark is commonly referred to as the home of Bran Stoker's Dracula, and honestly, what could be more terrifying than Dracula? Well, maybe the real person he is said to be inspired by, Vlad the Impaler, who is also said to have some sort of association with this castle. The building features beautiful, articulate designs and vast staircases, but it is also said to be the home to the supernatural. Maybe it's just the lore and the legends surrounding this piece of historical architecture, or maybe there really is something more sinister going on here. In our number three spot today, we have the Movil Cave. This cave is located in Romania, just a few kilometers from the coast of the Black Sea, and it was first discovered in 1986. This cave has been isolated from the outside world for millions of years, and basically everything that goes on inside of it is different than what we are used to. The cave life is not based on photosynthesis, and rather chemosynthesis. The level of oxygen in the cave is around a third of what is normally found in the atmosphere, and of the 48 species found in the cave, 33 of them were endemic, meaning they can't be found anywhere else on Earth. This cave looks absolutely terrifying, but it is clear that it holds an entirely different world inside of its walls. Mm -hmm. 